Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about how to create special email signature for Outlook using Canva. Now as you can see right here, I am currently inside the Canva website. And there is going to be a paid subscription for this one. But for now, we're going to utilize the free trial. So once you get here, if you don't have an account, simply sign up. If you have a Gmail account, you can use that one to log in. So I'm going to use my paid account here, but the trial, the features we're going to try for today's video will be basing on the free trial account. So I'll see you once inside. Now perfect, welcome back to the video. So basically this is how it should look like inside of Canva. And once you're here, everything is basically on your liking. Think of it as Canva is your one-stop shop. You can create videos, platforms, editing some software here, or even some platforms for publication materials. And everything you do here will be saved on this file tab right here. As you can see, there is recent designs there. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. On the search bar right here, since the topic here is going to be email signature, I can just simply type in here, email signature. Simply click on enter. And this is going to be all the results inside email signature. Before we choose a design here, notice that some of the designs have some logo at their lower right section. Some is going to be a crown, on my end it's going to be an edu. That means the ones that has the design right there or the watermark if you may, or logo. On your end it should be a crown icon. That means this template is only for the paid subscription users. Don't be afraid about that one because there are templates here to work with that are for free. We're going to utilize those templates right there to fully have the beginner tutorial. And right here let's just choose a template. Our signature that is basically for free i'm gonna go with this one i'm gonna click on it right now now once you click on it you're gonna see the creator you can follow you can click the star icon you can share and basically on the bottom section there is gonna be similar designs here so i'm gonna click on customize this template and i'm gonna see you once inside now welcome back to the video now for this one basically is gonna be the email signature you can just edit stuff here so you don't have to start from scratch first thing you'll notice is the image we can replace this one by simply clicking on the delete icon, delete frame or delete image. So please choose delete image because the frame would be the one that's basically our frame in other words. So to insert your image here, of course, go to uploads, select a sample image. You can either drag it out right there. As you can see, the frame is going to be here, right? Or you can just simply click on it. It will be added on your Canva. Now, how can we add this image inside that frame? So simply hold it in, drag it in the frame right there. You'll see a transparent motion right here. Simply release it and it's going to be inside your frame. Now if you want to remove the background here, simply click on the image right there. Go to image and there's going to be a background remover. But please take note that this feature inside Canva for background remover is going to be for the paid subscription plan. As you can see right there, there is a crown icon. So if I simply click on that one, with one click of a button since this is going to be a paid subscription plan it will be removing the background however don't be afraid if you don't want yet to buy the paid subscription there are a lot of websites to remove the background here and anyway, with that being said i have successfully removed the background of the photo easy as that now let's talk about some things here for example the signature font here i can just simply type it in type in my name let's just say that my name is steven and then the last name would be right there, Rogers. As you can see right here, I can also color it. This is just any other application. If you're familiar with, let's just say Word document, this is gonna be an easy stuff for you. If I wanna color this one on the side of red, I can do so, just make sure everything is selected properly. Easy as that. So same drill here. Of course, I'm gonna edit the name right there since I have edited signature. That will be Sidon Rogers. And everything you see here is editable, not just the name. For example, you want to edit the title. I can name here Video Editor. I can change the font style there. For example, I have the recommended fonts. So recommended fonts is basically the recommended by Canva based on your design. So I'm going to go with this one right there. And then change the color. For example, I want to go on this yellow. But the photo colors are right there and the document colors are right here. Get meaning that Canva is helping you choose the right color palette. So I'm going to choose still the yellow here, and there we have it. I can bold, apply bold format rather, click underline, and I'm going to have it right there. 
no problem at all. Now what's lacking on your design? It's lacking a little bit on the background, right? So I have a suggestion here if you don't have any access to good background since this is a free trial, let's go to elements. And under here, just type in the square or rectangle right there. And we're going to add this option here. Just make sure it's going to be behind it. Now, I'm just going to go a design here based on my own liking. I'm going to add it on the middle of the guy right there. And with this one, I'm going to color it a little bit more light. How about that one? Right click on it, like so. And then look for layers. You can send to backwards. One more time here. Sorry about that. It's not really working. So bring to back. I'm going to go send to back there. And there we have it. I can move it all the way there or just half of it to give it a more slick design, right? I'm going to go with this one. And now since we added elements, let's talk more about the element side here. So we have a lot of things going on here. The limit here would be your imagination. Take note about that one. Anything you can think of it, please try it on Canva. For example, I'm looking for, let's just say teacher. If I click on teacher right there, I'm going to have a lot of graphics. I'm going to have male teacher, teacher cartoon. And if I can just drag it right there, place it on the photo. By the way, guys, if you want to crop the photo, just double click on it. Make sure that it has movements. I can decrease the size right there. to Make sure everything is good. I can rotate right here. Like so, or auto roll right there. Sorry about that. Make sure everything is aligned. And with that being said, this is how you do it on the cropping section. I can decrease the size there to a minimum or to the maximum decrease it can be. Easy as that. Now let's add some text here. On the text section right there, you can add the heading. I can just type in here hello. Place the hello right here. By the way, guys, I have a full tutorial in Canva the best tips and tricks, so please check it out. If you're not really familiar with Canva, please check out the video, and you're gonna have so much fun with it. And with this one, let's edit the DLC some more. So I'm gonna type in here YouTube, and then for that one, I'm gonna click that com, and of course, the username of our channel. That will be tutorial box. And then if you add an element right here, go for YouTube right there. We're gonna have this thumbnail. For example, we're gonna choose a free one, of course, for you guys. I think I'm going to go with this one. Place it right here. Just a little bit right there. Again, guys, the limit here, of course, would be your imagination. I'm just going to place it right beside the lower right corner. Now, here's the tip for you. Let's just say this is the link, okay? Let's just say this is the link of my YouTube channel. I'm going to copy this one. Go to this text right here. And now, I can just simply click on that link icon. Paste my YouTube link here, like so. If I click on Done... Click on that one more time. Now this link would be directing on my YouTube channel. So please take note about that one. Of course, guys, since we're talking about YouTube channel, I can just select the circle right there. Just decrease it just a little bit right here. Hold it and then change the design right here. Let me just remove this one. Sorry about that. Delete it right there. Place it right here. Just align it like so. Perfectly easy as that. And now, once you're satisfied with your design, you did everything you want to do here. Simply go on, on the share button right there to download it. Make sure you click on this download and make sure you have the best um, quality. That will be the PNG and simply click on download here. As you can see right there, it's currently being downloaded and the creator of the template will be shown here. You can follow a view profile. Anyway, the download file will be on your computer right now. And now before I apply the signature on my Outlook, you can change your file name or Canva file name on this option right here. And just type in sample one and I'll be good to go. Now let's go on Outlook. Now welcome back to the video. Now once you're here inside your Outlook, click on new mail right there. Go to signature. Click on signatures right here. And with this one, we're just going to apply the signature for moving forward. We can use this signature alter our email. So you can click on new signature here like so. You can place your insert image here. Let's just go to downloads because that is where we can find our email signature. And there we have it. Simply click on that button right there because basically this is a image. So for this, let's just name it awesome signature. So for future references, we have a name for this specific signature. And with that being said, you can add this up. For example, you can edit the name right here and simply once you're done, of course, 
click on save. And now with that being said, you can now use the signature moving forward. You can rename it or delete this one. If you want to add a new one right there, of course, click on this new signature right here to keep moving forward. Now let's explore this just a little bit more. So since this is an image, you can add your signature there. For example, you want to add your hyperlink. As you can see right here, I'm going to type on my YouTube channel hyperlink right here. Easy as that. Let me just cancel that. Anyway, you can also adjust the image here if you want to move it just a little bit or place it like that orientation. But I suggest don't do that. It's going to be not professional looking. All right. Of course, you can choose some this one right there for new messages. Make sure this is um, enabled. So moving forward, you're going to have this signature. For replies, you can also do that. For BCC, as you can see here, you can toggle them by your own choosing. By the way, guys, you can also use this one. There is a composed message in HTML format or plain text. And then you can reply or reply all using this signature by this option right here. You can preview links in email, especially if you're applying the hyperlinking we did earlier. And without further ado, let's try it out. I'm just save here. Now with this one, click signature. There's our awesome signature right there. And there we have it. Easy as that. That will be easy as that. And that being said, this is going to be our new signature moving forward. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.